Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how we arrive at the concept of number in six steps, six basic steps. But before I do that, um, I want to show you an article, in fact, a very important article that should have been written before the elements were written, the elements of Euclid. And it's called the prologue. I'll get back to the prologue in a moment. But in any case, before we can realize anything about number, we think about something called magnitude. Okay, so we have magnitude. Right. And what is magnitude? Magnitude is just the concept of size, dimension, or extent. It's not a number. Basically, all we can do with magnitude is ask, is it bigger or smaller? Is it taller or shorter? Is it heavier or lighter? Those are the kind of questions we can ask with magnitudes. We, we can't really do anything more with them because they're not numbers. So a magnitude can be something like distance, area, volume, mass, etc. Okay. The next thing we do in the evolution of number, and, and by the way, here, here's a very important step that we need to take. If we're going to be talking about ratios, the, what are the most basic kind of ratios, ratios that we can consider? They must be ratios of line segments, right? Because that's what we get from the prologue. That's what the Greeks used in their development of the concept of number. So if you read this uh, uh, article, it will show you how one leads all the way up to the five requirements. In other words, uh, the fact that there is a shortest distance between any two points, that that distance can be extended or diminished. Then also the fact that you can get a circle using uh, those two requirements. The first one is that there is a shortest distance. The second one is that it can be extended or diminished to get the definition of a circle. And then from there, you get all the rest, like uh, angles, parallelism, etc. Okay, so it all originates step by step, building on the concepts that came before. However, the most simple concept that we can start to investigate with in respect to developing a theory of number is, of course, the line segment. So the first step is magnitude, right? The second step is the ratio. And what is a ratio? So a ratio is simply the comparison of two homogeneous magnitudes, in this case, line segments, two homogeneous magnitudes, okay? And we write it like that and we say, hmm, what can we tell about that ratio? Well, we can tell that this line segment here is greater than that one. And we know by the same token that this line segment is shorter, this, shorter than this line segment. But we can say how much shorter is this line segment than this line segment or how much bigger is this line segment than that line segment, right? Just can't say right now. It's just a quali qualitative measure. And in fact, we wouldn't be able to make that uh, observation if the two if we if the two were equal. Okay, we can only uh, state this comparison if the two line segments are not equal. Right. So what that does is it enables us to realize the concept of the unit. Okay. So the unit comes immediately after ratio. So what is a unit? A unit's just an arbitrary ratio of equal magnitudes. Okay, so this magnitude is equal to this magnitude. This line segment is equal to that line segment. That's what it means. And we call this part the antecedent part of the ratio. Antecedent and the consequent. Okay, so antecedent and consequent. Right. Then... This allows us to go a step further and examine a relationship between the antecedent and the consequent. Okay, it's 
a special relationship. We call that relationship in Greek, we call it, <coughs> excuse me, pilikotita. And there's no accent there. It's pilikotita, which there's no English word for it, but it means quotientness. And quotientness simply means that the line segments can be measured by the same magnitude okay so we can measure let's say this long line segment with this part here and we can also measure this if it's the same distance as this one right so in other words by convention we say is there a common divisor and then can we divide the consequent into any number of equal parts so that we can measure the antecedent the antecedent is what is being measured by the consequent. Okay, so that's quotient this. And then obviously, once we've got this in place, we could say one is the measure of that ratio, two is the measure of this ratio, right? Because we've chosen a common unit. Yes? Okay, so and three, etc. And of course, then we can go a step further and do a, a leap to the number concept. And how do we do that? Well, we know from here that we have natural numbers. So if we take a ratio of these natural numbers, say something like three quarters, right? Then that means that three quarters is equal to the measure of what? One, two, three, four ratio with this consequent and compared to i'm sorry that should be one two three one two three three quarters yeah that should be one two three here and we have four here one two three four and a little part there and three quarters is the measure of this ratio of numbers okay or this ratio of multiples of the unit so ultimately what i'm showing you is that actually in five steps we have the evolution of numbers okay so in five steps there you go Ma magnitude ratio unit quotientness and natural number and then of course number and the final step is when we have uh, a ratio that has no measure okay so Let's go back to the diagram here and clear this out. So if we get a new canvas, reset this one. Right. So over here now, what if we had a circle circumference and its diameter? What is the measure of that? Well, there's no way we could divide the antecedent into any number of equal parts so that we could measure this line segment. In other words, this ratio does not have quotientness or a common divisor in terms of the unit in terms of geometry we can measure the the antecedent with a consequent and the same thing is true for a square diagonal right for the measurement of the square diagonal with the unit side so i'll place a link to this article and also uh, please if you're not already a member become a member subscribe uh, click like Tell your friends about this. And till next time, I'm John Gabriel. Goodbye.